Okay, let's do our warm ups and focus a little on the upper body, neck and shoulders. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, bring your shoulders back and down and your crown to the ceiling. Spread your toes out. Straighten your knees as much as feels okay and your crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to breathe, focus inward, exhale, stress. And then bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, keep the shoulders down. Hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you. Just press the fingers down toward the floor, lift your heart, and stretch your head back for a nice upper body back bend. Pull those shoulders back and down and then pivot at your hips, come on over. Hands up toward the ceiling, move your chin around, release your neck, and lift your sitting bones. And then bend your knees slightly, keep the chin slightly in, work your way back up, and lift your heart into that upper body back bend. So hands down toward the floor as you pull the shoulders back and down and stretch the head away, spread the toes. Inhale, upright, release your arms and just take a moment feeling your spine getting activated. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over. Stretch up and back and drop those shoulders. Pivot over as you exhale. And again, deepen as much as you'd like, lifting the sitting bones, stretching the back of the legs, bringing those hands toward your head, getting those shoulders moving around a little more. And as you're ready to come up, bend the knees slightly with the chin in, unwinding up into the back bend. Stretch out and lengthen the spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment spreading your toes, stretching apart through the whole back of your body. Side stretches, so bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, shoulders down. Bring your hands across and clasp them and bring your arms next to your ears. Spread your toes out, stretch everything straight and no twist, lean to the side. So make sure you don't lean forward or backward, just straight over so those ribs get a stretch coming apart. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for a little extra if you love it. And then inhale back upright and switch the hands around arms by your ears. Again, take a moment, breathing, stretching, straightening, and lean to the other side. Stretch through your fingers and head, pushing the foot you're leaning away from down. Make sure you're not leaning forward or backward, and stretch the ribs. Inhale back to the center, and release. Again, take a moment, feeling how that body is activating. Bring your shoulders back and down and stretch the spine apart for our twist on your spine. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders and clasp your elbows, spread your toes. Stretch the spine apart, one down and the other up and turn to the side for your twist. Keep the weight on both feet evenly and come on over. And just deepen as much as you'd like there, relaxing, deepening into that pivot. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, and work your way back up into the upper body back bend as you raise your heart. So shoulders down, elbows back, chest high, upper body back bend only. Don't overdo the back. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms around, spread your toes, lengthen the spine again, and turn to the opposite side. Take a breath in, pivot on over. 
And again, in the twist, keep the weight on both feet. Keep your arms by your ears. Pull them as close toward your leg as you'd like. And feel what your body is doing. And then when you're ready to come up, stay in the twist as you work your way back into that upper body back. Shoulders lifting, or shoulders dropping, chest lifting, and elbows coming back. Feel that whole upper body opening into the back bend. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up in extended mountain. Take a moment there, reaching toward the ceiling with your head and fingertips. Sink evenly into your feet, spreading your toes. Keep your arms by your ears, pivot at your hips, and bring your body parallel to the floor. Stretch it out, and then drop again into right dog. Pull in deeper, hands behind your legs, get that back of your body stretching. And then arms to the center, and wind your way one more time into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling that spine a little bit more energized and relax your arms. Stay in mountain pose, everything nice and aligned. Keep that core activated, supporting your spine. Bring your arms to T position, palms toward the ceiling, and bring your hands into kind of a Y shape right above your body. So kind of angle out slightly from the shoulders, but pull the shoulder blades straight down and the crown straight up. Activate that core, keep breathing, kind of a Y position with your light arms. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension, just extending out through your head, your fingertips, spreading your toes. And then bend your elbows and bring them down below your shoulders. Put the fingertips up toward your head. So kind of a W position with your hands. Pull the shoulders, shoulder blades, and elbows slightly back. And keep that heart nice and open. So you want to feel those shoulders going back and down, no rounding through the neck or the shoulders. Take a moment to breathe. Just exhale, extend up through the fingertips and head down into the feet evenly, sitting bones toward the floor. And then straighten out the arms, palms up, and turn the palms down. Stretch out through the fingertips, up through the crown, down with the shoulders, and just pull the arms slightly back. Take a moment there, feeling that heart open, maybe a little bit more. And then turn the palms back up toward the ceiling and pull your elbows down into your waist, bringing the hands down at waist level as well. Feel what that does to your shoulders, don't go too far. And again, pull the forearms slightly back, chest open, crown toward the ceiling, sitting bones toward the floor. Keep breathing. Exhale any tension. And then shake out your arms and release. Take a moment, rolling the shoulders back and down a few times. And breathe. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, and bring your hands to the back of your head. Just clasp the fingertips together, elbows straight out. Take a moment there. Make sure everything's aligned and straight, ribs in and up, and core activated. Take a moment to breathe, sitting bones and shoulder blades down toward your waist, elbows straight out to the side, maybe a little bit further back. And again, crown to the ceiling, everything straight through the spine. And then exhale, tip your chin in just slightly, and then rotate the ear over toward one side, lifting that elbow, or the opposite elbow, actually. So the chin is down and in, the ear is going toward your shoulder, and the elbow on the opposite side slightly up. And then bring that shoulder slightly back a little bit more. 
and then tip your head back upright and tip to the other side. And again, the elbow comes slightly up as that ear comes across. Push into the head just gently, pushing the head back into the hands as well. Not pushing forward or backward either way, but just straight down. Take a moment and breathe, just relax into it. And then pull the top elbow slightly back. Exhale, any stress through the shoulders. And then again, come straight back up, elbows out to the side, pressing the head and hands into each other evenly. Everything straight up through the crown, down with the sitting bones. And then bring your arms up, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, shoulder blades down, and sitting bones down. Extend up through the palms, and then bring your hands forward. Keep the shoulders down, away from your ears, ribs in and up, crown toward the ceiling. Keep pushing out through the palms. And then bend one elbow, bring the arm over at shoulder level. And back to the center. And over to the opposite side. And back to the center. Keep pushing out as you bring the hands back or right above your head. And then separate your hands out to T position and all the way down. Take a moment, roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times, relaxing the arms. And again, take a moment there, breathe, tension out, exhale, tension. Bring your right arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder, and turn the palm to the front. Keep your arm next to your ear, and then as you're breathing, just take a moment to relax, and tip your ear over toward that extended up arm. Take a moment and breathe and feel the stretch on the other side. If you want, you can push the palm down on that opposite hand. A little extra stretch on the side of your neck. Make sure your head is just straight to the side, chin kind of dipping up slightly forward. And then bring your head straight back up, release the arm, and the other arm back to your side. And we'll do the same on the other side, arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, turn the palm to the front. Keep everything straight, crown to the ceiling, core active, arm relaxing at your side, and the other one stretching up. Tip your ear over toward the Extend it up arm. And again, just breathe, relaxing into it, feeling that stretch on the opposite shoulder. Push the bottom of your palm down, heel of the palm down on that hand that's toward the floor. If you want a little extra, take a breath. Face still to the front, everything's still aligned. Breathe into it, maximize that stretch. And then bring your head back upright, release the arm and the other arm back to your side. Roll the shoulders again, back and down, and exhale any tension. Take a moment and breathe, hands to your heart. Shoulders down, look at the hands, bring them up, and extend the palms or the fingertips toward the ceiling, palms together overhead. Keep looking at your thumbs as you bring them slightly back and lift your heart. And let's swan dive forward, bring the arms out to T position, pivot forward, chest leading. Bring that chin parallel, back of the neck parallel with the spine, stretch it out halfway down. And then clasp your hands behind your back and just put your hands gently down onto your lower back. Elbows out toward the sides, everything's straight. 
Chest coming slightly forward, shoulders back and down. And keep that spine as straight as you can. Elbows and knees. Elbows bent, knees straight. Stretch it out. Exhale any tension. And then drop your ribs slightly and look slightly forward. Take a moment, dropping the shoulders, dropping the ribs toward the floor just a little bit as you look slightly forward. And then pull the chin back slightly toward your chest and stretch that back of the neck again. Just a little upper body sinking through that heart area. And then keeping everything there, pivot back all the way up. And release your arms. Take a breath. Feel that upper body a little bit more activated and energized as well. And then stretch the spine apart and we'll start, turn side to side, following the hands from one side to the other as that crown goes toward the ceiling. Take a breath or two, just relax, tension out. Just let that whole shoulder area release and relax as you follow the hands from one side all the way around to the other side. And then back to the center and separate your feet, just turning the toes out slightly. And we'll do another little twist. So bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees, shoulders above your toes. Stretch that spine apart. We're doing our twist, bringing that shoulder across and down toward the knee as you lift the opposite shoulder and look toward the side. So your whole spine, remember, is turning, hips, ribs, and shoulder, bringing that shoulder way down toward the knee. Take a breath, stretch it out, lengthen a little bit more, and as you exhale, turn back to the center, straightening the spine and stretching it apart. And again, we're turning to the opposite side, so bringing the shoulder down toward the knee, lifting the shoulder you're turning toward, and hips, ribs, and shoulder turning into that twist toward the opposite side. Take a moment there, lengthening through the spine, feeling the twist through the whole length of your back. And again, exhaling and turning back to the center. Stretch it out straight, drop the ribs down, a little back bend, and then tuck your chin, draw the ribs up, look down, and wind all the way back up into mountain pose once again. Take a breath, sinking evenly into your feet, up through the crown. And then hands to your heart. Inhale toward the ceiling. And thumbs coming back for a nice little back bend. Let's swan dive this time, arms out, pivoting all the way over into ragdoll. Take a breath, slide those hands up under your knees and stretch and straighten. Halfway up stretch. Exhale down, fall the way to the mat, into child pose, sinking your hips to your heels and letting your forehead come toward the floor. Round the shoulders just a little. Exhale any tension. Feel that whole spine rounded. And then as you inhale, sit up on your heels, clasp your hands behind you, and press the fingers toward the floor, straightening the elbows as much as you can. Straighten the spine as well, stretch the head back. And as you exhale, pivot at your hips, bring the hands up and the head down toward the floor. So bring in the hands as high toward the ceiling or your head as it wants to go through that shoulder area. Tuck in your chin, relax. And then inhale, face toward the front, bringing those hands back toward your hips as you sit back up. Press the knuckles slightly toward the floor, lifting your heart, and release the arms. Take a moment, feeling that circulation through your spine as you activate with that spine nice and straight, core activated. 
and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift those fingers one position over, push the hands down and lift the heart, stretch the spine open and slightly back. Pivot at your hips as you exhale. And again, the hands come up, pressing those palms toward each other or not, whichever you prefer. Head down toward the floor, tuck in the chin slightly, and bring the hands toward your head as much as it wants to go. Take a moment, don't overdo, always personal practice, only as far as your shoulders are willing to go. Take a breath, just relax. And then face to the front, hands coming down toward your feet as your head comes back up toward the ceiling. Again, pressing the knuckles slightly toward the toes, toward the floor, as you lift your heart and stretch the back of your neck. And then exhaling, release, coming back to your kneeling position, feeling that upper body coming off into a cross-legged position. Take a moment, and of course, cross the other way, since we're creatures of habit, to get things evenly settled into those sitting bones behind you, starting on our non-habitual side. Shoulders back and down, bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Bend the elbow, down, fingertips into the middle of your spine, and hand behind, or elbow behind your head. Take the other arm, clasp the elbow, pull it in, and slide those fingers down toward your waist. Push your head back into that arm that's up and just let that stretch happen. And then take the hand that's up and see if you can clasp both hands behind you with that elbow bent down. Elbows in and stretching away from each other in that cow's head arm position. Stretch and relax, exhaling and releasing. And again, as you get back into your seated position, switch those legs around. We'll do the other arm. So arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder, and bend the elbow down into your neck. Slide it down your spine, elbow in toward that spine line as much as you can, hands sliding down toward your waist, and then take the hand from the air down and around, bending the elbow, and again, see if you can clasp behind you. Otherwise, hold your shirt. And then push your head back. Remember, keep the spine straight, even through that neck area, no rounding forward. Elbows down and in toward your spine. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Stretch the elbows away from each other. And once more, releasing. Allow those arms just to come back into your neutral position. Take a breath, feeling all that shoulder area energy activated. And don't forget to breathe. And then let's bring your feet to the end of the mat. Into our staff position, activating the core. Stretch the crown toward the ceiling, push out through your heels. And keep that core activated as you roll all the way to the floor. Take a moment there, just relax, relax into that surface beneath you. And bring your arms to T position. Bend your elbows, fingertips up into goddess cactus position with your chest nice and open. Keep the backs of your hands on the floor, palms up. Elbows straight out from your shoulders and the whole upper body just sinking down into that surface beneath you. Take a breath. Sitting bones toward your heels. Press your back gently down. Bend your knees. Heels in right next to your sitting bones. Press the back down. Lift your feet off the floor. Feet next to each other. Knees next to each other. Everything about 90 degrees there. Keep the backs of your hands and shoulders on the floor and just roll the knees toward one side as you turn your head toward that opposite arm. Exhale into that goddess position twist. 
Take a breath, knees just going as far toward the floor as they want. Shoulder just deepening into that connection beneath you. Keep the arms where they are, just relax, breathe into it. Exhale, tension. Deepen that twist only as far as your body wants to go. And then heel slightly towards your hips, rolling onto your back, straighten things out, and get ready to twist the other way. So again, the knees come across as you get into the twist, bringing those knees at hip level down toward the floor. And turning toward that opposite arm, but keep the arms and shoulders on the floor. Breathe. You may never get those knees to the floor. That's okay. Just go only as far as they want to go. Take a breath. Let things relax. Always allow your twists. Never force them. Deep breaths. Letting things release and relax. And again, heels slightly towards your hips as you roll again onto your back. Bring the feet to the floor and separate your knees out toward the sides, coming into a full goddess release. So knees out, arms, palms up at shoulder level, straight out elbows from the shoulders, hands still on the floor. And just let those knees come down as far, opening through the hips as your body wants. You can slide those toes out slightly further away from your body if that makes that thigh area stretch a little bit easier for you. And then sitting down slightly toward your heels and bring that back a little bit further down into the floor. Take a moment to breathe and as you exhale, just let everything relax into that release, deepening into that earthbound connection, letting your body soften and sink. Shoulders relaxing down, opening through the heart, deepening with your breath, relaxing your fingers, your arms, your shoulders and hands, everything in that upper body just softening and sinking. In the lower body as well, the hips, the legs, the ankles, the knees, everything sinking toward that earth surface. Breathing deep, relaxing further into your goddess release. And just take a few moments there, releasing your body, relaxing. Move your head side to side, letting that neck relax even more. And as you come into that neutral position with your whole body, just let your body sink, relaxed completely. Back thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. There's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the arms drop the legs drop, the belly soften, the mind drift, and your awareness deepen into that inner peace as you relax completely. Take a few breaths, being peace. And just keep relaxing even longer if you have time today. If it's time to reactivate, just one more stretch for your upper back. Bring your knees together, sliding those legs out along the mat. Straighten your arms out to that wide position, palms up, stretching through the fingers. 
down with the shoulders and shoulder blades and spine into the mat. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring them down toward your hip level, waist level with the fingertips up toward your shoulders. Take a moment there, breathe into it. Bring those shoulders and shoulder blades and spine down even deeper. Feel that heart opening. Bring your arms up straight to T position. And then bending your elbows in toward your waist, arms out to the side. Feel that shoulder area open a little differently. Take a breath. And as you exhale, bend your knees, heels toward your hips. Sitting bones toward your heels and knees up toward the ceiling as you draw in your heels toward your hips. And your knees up toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, appreciating your body's work today. The work your shoulders and arms and body do for you every day. Give yourself a deep stretch and squeeze across those shoulders. Bring your head and arms to the floor and your feet to the mat. Again, draw those shoulder blades toward your waist. Exhale any tension. And when you're ready to release completely, we'll roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day today. Keep those shoulders back and down as you get ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.